All right, so I took my fuel pump assembly to work this week, got it cleaned up, didn't have to media blast it, just put it in the parts washer, got it cleaned up pretty good, got most of the crud off of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the new pump assembly. I got this sock from O'Reilly's, um, let's see, and here is the part number, it's for some Hyundai and it seemed to work pretty good so we'll get this thing together get it put back in the car fuel assembly put together. I used an old silicone coupler because I didn't have anything to put around the pump itself to keep it from grounding out. So I just used a coupler and a clamp, got it secured, and then secured my connection. So next, I'll get it dropped in the tank and get our new fuel lines hooked up. Alright, so I got the gas tank cleaned up pretty good. I had to take the little baffle or a surge tank out, get it cleaned up. So next I got to put the baffle back in place. There's some little pins down there I've got to turn. And then secure the baffle and then drop the pump in. Alright, well I've got the tank back in the car. The line's hooked up. I went ahead and primed the system just to make sure I didn't have any leaks. The pump is working, so let me hook up these uh, two wires and we'll see if we can fire it up all right well here goes nothing fuel pumps on so we'll see what it does whole lot of nothing i guess we'll see what's going on next all right so it's been a couple days and i admittedly goofed and I uh, checked everything on the car and realized I put my fuel lines on backwards. So I'm going to hop under the car real quick and try and get the fuel lines swapped around and hopefully get the car fired up. All right, well, I got the fuel pump turned on. Check to make sure I don't have any leaks. I'll fire it up and see what happens. I was trying to start. Well, it's doing something. I'm going to have to pull all the plugs out, clean them up. But we're getting somewhere. We're going to 
really not sure how long this thing's been running. It's got oil pressure. So that's good. I guess next I just need to figure out what cylinders aren't firing. Might have to take the injectors out, uh, take them to work and clean them, or just replace them. But we'll see what happens. Alright, I want to do just a little preliminary check on things. Um, just quick check over, make sure all the spark plug wires are plugged in good. I know that's a common thing when people just throw a motor together. Uh, I'm not really sure how mechan mechanically inclined this guy was that had the car before. So I'm going to check all the plug wires, make sure they're right, and then maybe that'll fix our uh, misfire issue. But let's see. Of course, number one shouldn't be too bad, or number two. No, it is number one. Okay. So that's pushed in pretty good. I might push it in a little further. Three is okay. Number five is definitely going to be a problem. So I'll get that pulled out a little further. So I'll leave that one off. Two looks being pretty good. Coil's good. Six is good. And check number four. Uh, four is pulled out also. So I'm going to get those two fixed, put it back together, and then I'll try and fire it up again. And maybe it'll run smooth. All right. Pulled the leads out a little bit. They'll always push back in whenever you put them in place. Get that back together. I got the fuel pump already on. Let's fire it up and see what happens. I got a bit of a misfire, but it could be that those plugs are fouled out from just trying to run it. So maybe if it runs a little bit, it'll start running better. We'll see what happens. Wouldn't surprise me if I don't have a stuck injector or something like that, as bad as the fuel was in this thing. But I'm just going to pull some of the spark plugs out one at a time, see if I can narrow down where this misfire goes. Well, number one's not doing much. Let's see, number three. Definitely running. Five. Uh, getting a little bit out of that. Number two a shot. Number two's not doing too much. Let's see about number six. Nope. And number four. Am 
make sure I got this one in there good. So four is definitely doing something. So I guess I'll have to pull these plugs out, get them clean, see if that helps. If not, we'll be pulling the injectors. Alright, so I got spark plugs out. This is cylinder number one. It doesn't look horrible, but it's definitely misfiring. And then here's number two. It's definitely not doing anything. It's, you know, black. It's super rich. And then number six is actually wet. But I don't notice that they put auto light plugs in here. I don't like auto lights. I've got a couple plugs from uh, my black car that I'm going to put in it. So get those put in there and see if it fires up and helps it clear up. Just a quick tip I like to show people is you can use a piece of fuel on and stick it on your spark plug so you can stick it down in the hole and not have to worry about dropping your spark plug and you can thread it in until it gets decently tight and then pull it off and then you can use a ratchet to tighten it up all the way just a quick little tip just basic piece of fuel on makes things a whole lot easier all right got the three spark plugs swapped out checked and made sure that the injectors were all plugged in I had one that actually was disconnected so Hop in the car, got the fuel pump on, and see if it'll start. a little rough. I guess I will go back through and at least check those same cylinders again. Make sure that they're not causing a problem. So, number one, a whole lot of nothing. Number two, a whole lot of nothing. lot of nothing. So it's either they got a problem with an injector or it's a bad connection on them. But I'm guessing my next thing I'll be doing is pulling the intake manifold off and getting the injectors pulled out. Alright that's it for this episode. We got the fuel pump in. We got the car to at least fire up and run. Um, we know three injectors are most likely bad. Hopefully we can either just replace them or get them cleaned. But we'll find out next episode what I decide to do. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. And have a good day.